Hey everyone! Today I will be doing a DIY video on cutting the collar and neck part of your shirt. The design looks like this and let me show you how I did it. The items you will need are a pair of scissors, a chalk or pencil to make markings, other optional items include a notebook or cardboard, some stencils you can use, and free glue or if you don't have that, nail polish and the shirt itself. Start by getting an old shirt or top that you are fine with cutting. As for me, I chose my navy blue shirt. Reverse the shirt inside out to draw on the inner portion. This helps just in case you are making markings and it doesn't come off, so it will not be seen later on. I measured and made a border marking it around so I would know where to cut. I also recommend cutting around the collar area while avoiding the other seams along the shoulder. This is so that I would not spoil the shirt. I am careless and not perfect or very neat when doing handiwork. There are two ways to do this. You can use a chalk or a pencil to draw out the shapes and cut. An alternative is to print and cut out shapes to align them. This will see how the shapes will turn out. I will be doing both to show you. I printed out a few shapes and used them as stencils. I wasn't exactly sure of the shapes and sizes I was looking for, so printing them out helps me to see it visually. The benefit is that you will be able to align the shapes and see how they look like. You can even rearrange to find the pattern you like the best. The cutout shapes can also be used as a guideline to draw and trace for cutting them out later on. So here you can see me aligning the shapes and rearranging them just to make sure and see how they actually look like. I inserted my notebook as a hard backing so it would be easier to draw on. But you may not have a printer with you or may just find it a hassle to print. That's fine because another way is to draw on the shirt. Drawing helps you to see the design and pattern you are looking for. I recommend using a pencil so you can erase the markings if you are not happy with it. As for me, I was having problems with the shape when I started. I had to erase it a few times to find something I liked. I kept on drawing around the collar area of the shirt till I was satisfied with the design. And so eventually I ended up with this. After marking out the measurements, I take my scissors and cut them. Just remember, if you cut too small, you can make it bigger by cutting more. If you cut off too much, you cannot make it smaller. Another thing is, depending on how you wash them, it may be possible that the cuts get bigger over time since this is not machine sewn. So I would not recommend cutting a very large piece off. After cutting, you are done. For an extra step, if you are worried that your shirt will free or tear, Take some fray glue or nail polish and put it on the cutouts so it will not fray while it is being washed. And that's it for this DIY video. I hope you guys will like it. Feel free to leave any comments below and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!